Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are playing Played Up. Specifically, we are going after Auto Stir Fry Round 2. We have attempted this before. We had terrible cards. It went horrific. I'm hoping this time we can do better. It's going to depend on the cards, obviously. But I have a very big plan. So, as a note, I want to go ahead and cover that really quick, but if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, please give this video a thumbs up, and as of course, as always, if you have anything you want to add, go ahead and leave it down in the comments down below. But, let's go ahead and talk about what our plan is here. So, this is actually going to eventually become our kitchen, because auto stir-fry will not be able to happen back here. Uh, it is too large of a system currently. In order to happen back there, it has to happen over here. So what we're going to end up doing is it's going to be a six by seven grid to make it where the stir fries are auto. Uh, it's seven wide, six deep. So if you can count right here, we'll go ahead and just kind of show everyone with this table right here. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that leaves us enough room to be standing on this side. Uh, we could have our... Um, hopefully have our dishes on, on the opposite side. Um, it's, it's going to be interesting. My goal is just to get the the auto system done um, because this is only six long. I can't change the seven wide, right? So like we can do it deep, but we can't do it wide enough, right? Uh, so we can't rotate it, right? It'd be up to here. So all I'm saying is we have to do it on this side if we're going to do it. Um, it's going to be huge. It's going to be a massive system. I mean, absolutely massive. We're going to serve onto this side. Uh, hopefully I can do a dish system over on this side is what my hope is. Um, but the catch is I have to leave room for the customers to get in through here. So this is the only entrance they have. I might even do stir fries on this side, um, like push it to right here. Uh, so it'll be seven wide. So like we could start it here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and that's all the room we have. Um, whether that means we have plates over here that I grab. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to look, how it's going to work or what's going to happen with that. Um, but right now, that is our goal. We have to leave this open. It's the only way to do it. This is the best one I could find. This really needs a huge map. But if we can get it auto going, it's going to be a blast either way. Uh, and I'm excited to see how that does up into including, you know, having a wash basin and just automatically doing our stuff. So let's go ahead and get day one on the roll. Let's see if we can pull it off and even get it. Um, we are going for seven combiners, nine grabbers, 15 conveyors that can be converted over to grabbers if they wish. Uh, and then three safety hops and two conveying mixers is our goal. So as we start to get those, we're going to be good. So we're going to be focusing on trying to get automation in the essence of getting automation is really what it's going to come down to. Um, I will probably end up moving actually fully out into here at some point where I'm cooking in here and the customers are coming in down here. Um, actually, that's me think one, two, three, four, five six, seven. That's not insane. Because then I could run dishes in through here. And they could pop out. Right? Because that's six here. That's six, seven. Sorry, I don't mean to get sidetracked. Uh, I just saw an opportunity to possibly make it where I could kind of shove the system over to the right a little bit um we'll look at that when the time comes i think there's a chance we could shove the system over um and make room for auto dishes on this side and serve down here <coughs> so that's where we're at um let's go ahead and get in here and start cooking again um we're in a good spot we're just going to go ahead and ring everybody in, all that kind of fun stuff, get all the monies, um, and try to chase down all the early days. But we'll see what we do as we continue to move on with the days. Hopefully we don't get bad cards. 3, 2, 1, uh, let's go. It's worth, like, no money early on now. I, I don't like that, but nothing I can do to change that. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we got, what, a double... It looks like a double on a Brock. Ooh. See, the one thing I don't like about stir fry is it is very tedious, but you do make a poop load of money off of it. Um, so that is the one nice thing that we do get here. We'll go and chop this broccoli up. We'll serve it really fast. We'll start prepping up another one. 
As we grab this plate, throw it down. Let's find out what this order is. It's a double with a carrot. That's good. So we'll chop up another carrot as time goes here. So there's that. Throw this down, and we'll just kind of hang out for a minute and get this done. Um, you can see we did pretty good on day one. Uh, we're not going to get tons and tons of money. Um, but we got 59. We're one short. We're buying the research desk day one, but we don't need to buy the research desk. So we should be able to buy something, uh, which will be nice. Uh, we are going to attempt to go for the discount, uh, the dupe, the copying desk first, um, so that we can just print off as much stuff as we need. Um, there is the blueprint cabinet. Uh, I'm actually going to push this over one, uh, just so I have access to back here if I need it. Ooh, floor protector. I like that. It's a good start. So we're going to throw this down, put that there, put this here, and put our floor protector down. Now, we could, in essence, add another table if we really wanted to get crazy here. Um, and I, I might very well eventually do that. Um, it's actually not insane, but we'd have to flip-flop a lot of this stuff to do that. Uh, so we won't do that right now. But we've got our system started, and we're ready to go. So three... Four groups, so four customers. This is going to be pretty easy. It's probably three groups, maybe even four. It's three. So let's go ahead and start chopping up some vegetables here really quick. They'll ask for doubles. Um, let's get these solos out of here. They want a broccoli. That's fine. We'll serve them their broccoli. We'll get the order from the top table while we do that. Ten bucks. I think that's a double. Um, I don't love how these, these, these are going to be. They rotate a little bit, so we should be fine. Chop that. Our biggest thing is going to get vegetables chop cooking. Oh, I didn't realize that was done already. Oops. There we go. Enjoy. We'll throw this down really quick. Find out what they want. They want a double, so we'll cook the double first. Throw it down. Yeah, getting vegetables up and running is one of the biggest things. Because uh, that's probably our most tedious part other than combining, right? And... I, I think it'll work. I've never actually tested how the combiners work with the vegetables and if you can just force them onto a couple of these. Um, and so hopefully that's what we can do. As I said, we might have to do some adjusting for doubles, but at least with safety hops, we can go crazy with it. Um, we're doing really good. So we're going to go ahead and grab this, throw this in here. We'll get our research done really fast today. Um, it's only five groups. We're just going to go really fast. One, two, three. It is four groups. That's fine. We should be fine. I'm going to get this research done. And we're good. i to find out what they need. We'll serve them real fast. They'll be fine. We did get the copying desk early. That's good. And there's that. Nice and easy. As I said, it wasn't very hard. Uh, that was a broccoli. We go. We'll get this chopped up really fast for them. Throw this up here. Get our vegetables chopped. And go into here. Oh, two doubles. That's going to stink. Just going to take a little bit. That's all. There's one. Place that up there for now. No, I'll serve it after this, probably, yeah. There we go. Nice and easy. We're going to be short. Um, we have the copying desk, so we're not going to spend today. Um, we're just going to buy another time. We know we have four groups. Uh, so technically, I could push this all up one, give access. Let's hit that first card. Looks like... I'm going to take all you can eat. I'm going to take all you can eat here. This is this is a gamble. It's an expensive build. I think we could do it, but we dropped 20% of our customers, right? So they could eat twice. Um, I don't think there's anything we're going to take out of here. Yeah. So we're literally just going to jump in here and ring, ring. We're not going to do research today. Uh, we have our copy desk, so we're just going to go ahead and hit this baby up really quick. It should just be three groups. Should be fast and easy. We'll go ahead and fire this baby up, get what this first customer is. But remember, they can eat twice. So the more they eat, the better it is for us, right? So that's that's a good news um, early on. Later on, this could get a little rough because um, dishes are going to be our biggest issue here. 
I'm sorry, serve that lad. There we go. So you can see we're getting 10 bucks per. Should we find out what they want up here? A double? Wow, they all want a double. It's pretty much the whole day. It's hilarious. All right, so that person's gonna leave. They're gonna give us. So that was basically like four or three customers already served. And there we go, that's a double, and they're good. They might eat again, let's find out. Nope, they did not. Um, so we have enough for our copy desk, which is good news, and then we're gonna pitch our research desk. Uh, is what we're gonna do. So, good news is that's done. Unless we get lucky and get another one. Nope. So we go and throw out our research desk now. Um, so I explained this on stream the other day, but I'm gonna go ahead and explain what the value of this is and, and specifically why I'm doing it on this run when I normally don't do it on other runs. Um, what this does is this allows it so I don't have to chase a, I've been having a lot of bad luck in chasing blueprint desks um, out of this. And I don't wanna be continuing to chase those. So, or out of the blueprint desk, I've been chasing uh, research desks and I don't wanna to continue to chase that. So I wanna get going as fast as possible now. Um, I am going to, I think, officially change things up a bit here. Um, I am going to do a little bit of changing of where everything's being cooked and done. So I'm going to stick that there. I'll stick this here. We can still get through there. We need this one open over there. I can just do this and we're golden. Um, all right, so I'm going to buy this dining table uh, and we're going to put it right on the other side of this wall for us. Um, and that will allow us to, to do what we need to do here. Uh, it'll keep the messes to a minimum too. And we can just chop up here. We don't need to do that actually. Let's put our plates down here. This is actually not terrible. And then yeah, we'll put this here. Yeah, here. Um, and let's get our walk down nice and early. So uh, three, two, one, let's go. We're just changing it up a little bit just because we changed a couple things. Oh, I got a ring ring. That reminds me, I got a ring ring. We have monies, we need monies. So we're just gonna chop everything up, do the best we can. I have no idea how many clusters we're gonna get. We're gonna throw this down. I'm gonna get these solos out um, and I'll push the patients on the other ones. But basically the, the biggest job here is the chopping, right? So it's keeping up with the chopping is gonna be our biggest issue. Ooh. Oh wow, I really sent those dishes far away, didn't I? All right, so we got a, a carrot. All right, that's good news. Um, but we want the money, so we want them all to eat multiple times. That would be preferable. They may not, but that's why all you can eat is actually not a bad one. It does push your customer count down, but it does give you way more money possibilities. So uh, it's a carrot to Brock, so let's do the Brock. I don't need to actually, actually I should still do it, even still. Let's throw this over here. Oh, I need a carrot. Because if they do do an all you can eat, then we're gonna get an extra twenty dollars. So we know these are twenty per. Go ahead and do these. We might have to move a, a dish today. They all you can eat. They did all you can eat. Oh, that's awesome. Good thing we prepped for that. Throw that down. So two doubles sounds great. I wish doubles cost a little bit more too. That is one thing I do wish. Like things with like small ingredients um, on the side should cost I think a little bit. Mm, not more. Um, you should get like an extra dollar per extra action you have to take, right? So like this one should cost 12 instead of, or 11 instead of 10. I know it's only one coin, but like if you have like a burger, right? And it requires an onion and a tomato and all these other things, it shouldn't cost the exact same as just throwing a patty down. Um, I think that's where one of the things I do wish that would happen is uh, we get more money like that. Um, we are going to go with exclusive. We need more money. We are going to try to make a push to get, if we can get lucky and get some candelabras. I don't think we're going to get lucky right off the bat. I can tell you that. Wow. Um, game. Oh, we didn't get our research desk today. That sucks. That really sucks. Uh, oh, we got to do some decorating. Uh, we'll just throw some stuff up. Y'all know me. I don't really care that much. Just throw some paper up and, and some walls and there you go. It's pretty. It's pretty. There you go. Okay. It probably actually looks terrible, but um, say la vie. 
This probably looks better. There we go. All right. Um, if I had a candelabra, I would have stuck it in here to duplicate. Um, but we didn't. We didn't get a single candelabra. We got absolutely nothing. We got absolutely housed on that. So we're just going to go ahead and do what we can and uh, uh, move this up here. Move this back here. So technically, we actually don't need access to it. That's what's funny. We just need to do it to start. And then we're good. All right. Uh, three, two, one. Let's go. So we're day six. We only have the copying desk up, but that's fine. So two, three. So it's going to be four groups, which is fine. There we go. Oh, wow. It's five groups. Oh, that sucks. I didn't even know that. We have only one individual customer, which stinks. Hopefully they don't all you can eat us. I think we lose if we do. That would suck. Come on, don't all you can eat. That's ah, beautiful. Okay, we're good. I was a little worried about that. Not gonna lie. We're still, I'm still a little worried, but we'll be okay, right? So we're gonna get this one. It's a double. And a carrot. I do sometimes I could get like a warp where it would just let me be done with like the first five days and like I could pick my cards and go. You know, after you hit a certain level, like maybe you get like a warp where it just, it skips your days. Two doubles, that's gonna be fun. there throw that over there one let's keep chopping the vegetables that's that's the biggest thing here is just keeping up with the vegetables and that's why i like to keep two counters nearby for now so we're gonna get two doubles here we're gonna do that bottom order next we'll throw down this find out what they need two doubles it is these two doubles are rough but this is why i said like it should be an extra coin right like it's it's an extra step so i feel like it should be an extra coin um, you know, but I can't control that. That's not my, my purview, but I would like that. That'd be nice. So there's that. Oh, that's the one double. Two doubles. We'll throw this down. We'll find out what this customer wants. They just want a carrot. So look at all the money we have, right? I think we made like a hundred bucks today. I think that's what it was. Over a hundred dollars. I think we're making 110 on day six or something crazy. Um, we're going to get another card today. Hopefully we get a decent card. Uh, something like... Oh, I wouldn't want Victorian Stand. Oh, Victorian Stand should be fine now. What? Game. Are you kidding me, game? This is horrible. Horrible. Leisurely eating. Okay, so this seed is garbage for anyone who wants to do it. Uh, so do not do this seed. This is a terrible seed. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do broccoli. Um, and we're just going to eat broccoli. We're just going to take it. Um, it's not great. It's not my favorite, uh, but it's better than, than the options, the other options. Um, and we are actually going to change up a couple things here. So one is, um, put this over here. This is, I think where we're actually going to talk about moving out. I think we're reaching that point where I'm going to move out. Oh, we got a mixer, but we got to copy the research desk first. Oh, so savage. I want to buy the mixer so bad. Um, but I can't upgrade it without the research desk. But I need to put the research desk in, duplicate it, um, and so forth. So we're going to do that first. I think it's time to move out. I think we have to, officially at this point. Um, I don't think we have an option. So we're going to go to the method that I was talking about earlier, which we'll talk about here in a second, what that's going to look like. Because we don't have to worry about the flames, right? This just gives us more space to do things. Um, okay, that's a problem. I thought I'd have more room than that. That sucks. So we need individual dining. All right, we're going to go back up to this. We're going to go back to the way we were for now. I thought I could switch it. I miscounted. Um, we need individual dining to do that. That way, always we go down three tables, which eventually might be an, an okay thing to do, uh, but right now it won't be. So we're gonna start here like this. Um, I'm actually gonna start by grabbing the broccoli and putting it down, and then run over and ring ring. All right. Uh, actually, we shouldn't ring ring today. Uh, we're gonna have some issues otherwise. So three, two, one, let's go. There's just too much prep to do now, with this broccoli being out there as an object. So we get to duplicate here. You can see the option. Um, 
and because we have to clear out so many customers at this point, it's just it's going to be insane to because of that. That's that's our issue. Is when we get stuff like that, we're really in a bad spot. Two doubles is is rough. And then they could all you could eat. This car, these this is terrible. Oh crap! I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. I think we'll be okay, but. But yeah, you could technically serve them just like that, as you saw. They don't all you can eat. I could do these dishes. I might, I might ring, ring in. We had what seven groups? One, two. So it's two through a quarter of the day. I think I should do one more group. But we'll ring, ring after this. Yeah, I'm gonna ring, ring after this. 100%. Because we're going to have giant messes here soon. So we're going to serve this group. As long as they don't all you can eat, we're going to ring. I said I could do probably a fight, so yeah, we're good. We got some money. That's great. We'll do a clean dishes really fast. Alright, so it's only three groups. Three more? Okay, that's cool. We should have rang rang earlier, I think. We'll get this customer out of here. So we just don't have to worry about the solo. I do miss not being able to see what groups we have. That that kind of does make me sad. I wish I knew how many groups. I prefer to know how many groups than customers. Um, I know some people like it that way, so I might ask to make that an option. Or see both or something. Um, but the, the group, the number of customers tells you how much money you're going to make, right? I can tell you almost now with all you can eat, I can't. But I can tell you at least my minimum and my maximum value that I could get. Um... But we're at two hundred and eighty-three dollars already. Like we're we're rolling in it uh, really fast. Um, there's our research desk that we've been talking about. So we're gonna go ahead and and buy this out really quick. Uh, oh oh, I should have saved that. Oops, that was a mistake. I didn't actually. If I had left it in there and bought this one, um, I didn't have to copy today. So I could have just immediately done it the other way. Uh, but I didn't do that because I'm bad. <laughs> So we'll do this today. I'm gonna change this up a little bit. No, we need access to that just in case. There we go. All right. Um. Actually, we could move today, but we're okay. But I could move today. But I really want metal tables so I can get rid of the broccoli on the side because you have to chase metal tables now too. Um, I right, three, two, one. I think we go, right? Yeah. Let's see how lucky we get. Uh, we are not looking for a discount desk early. We are looking for that. That's an amazing grab for us. go uh we'll ring ring here in a second i think i get to the first customer and then i ring ring there we go it's down here in case we need it yep we're gonna go ring ring right now get as much money as we can we probably don't even need a discount desk at this point i would say oh those conveying mixes are expensive it's a double I don't think I miscalculated. I did not. That's good news. So we'll grab this one, then we'll move down to this one. This is carrots. If they all you can eat, we can figure it out. But that's why, like, all you can eat is actually extremely a uh, strong card if you're trying to go into late days. Is because when you do get more customers, yeah, it, it, it stinks. But you cut down so many customers, 20% drop in customers is absolutely huge in my book. Absolutely huge, right? So we're going to grab this really quick. We'll put this in here. And I'll grab one on the way out, is what I'll do. Is I'll grab a broccoli on the way down, right? So I'll grab this. Grab it right here. We'll grab this piece. Grab this. Boom, boom. All the vegetables. So two doubles again. They're going to all you can eat on that table. That's good news for us. This is why I don't think we need a discount desk. Is because of how much food we're going to burn through. Ooh, I don't need that. So that's one. Put that there. We're going to have so much money at the end of this. 
It's gonna be insane. Like, we're making so much money right now, it's kinda nuts. Um, I do need to do that, so I'll do this here. If they all you can eat, we're good. So I'll just put this plate over here. Let's find out what they need. They need one of each, so we don't have to do any more chopping. Let's go. Grab this right over here. And we're good. There you go. 10, 10, 20. Boom. So we made... So day eight, just as an example, right? We've made a, a stupid amount of money. Um, I don't think we need a discount desk at this point. Oh, that sucks that we had a... Well, we need conveyors. We know that. Coffee tables don't hurt us right now. I'm going to grab a blueprint desk. I think it's time to move. I think we've hit that point where I need to move out here. But we could go this way because we have the extra dining table. Right, this just gives me more space to cook and stuff. That's why I'm thinking about this. So you can see here. Yeah, we're going to do this. Um, I'm going to throw this down here. So this is eventually going to be a second dining table right there. Uh, and then we can stick a coffee table down this way for ourselves. And you can see how that's going to work out really nicely for us. So um, we're going to start throwing stuff over here really quick. Just throw a whole pile of crap over. And we'll deal with it in a minute. And run it over. So there's that. Oh, I teleported myself. That actually works pretty well for us. So we're just going to pull stuff over. Um, the reason I'm going to end up in here is because I know I'm eventually just going to end up over here. And I'd rather move now. And then I could put my research like over here and stuff. So I don't have to worry about it as much. Um, we are going to steal that conveyor. We are going to need one. So we are down to we are down one conveyor already. Um, I do want to chase. Oh, we don't need this yet. I don't know why this is not coming over. There we go. That's that. There's that. Put this baby over. Right, so you can see kind of how we're kind of actually, in essence, expanding our restaurant instantly uh, with all of this. Um, we're going to go and buy this. Oh, no, this, this. I want to buy this. So let's just buy these so we don't forget. There's one. There's two. And three for a conveyor. Use that to just store a dish on it. It's fine. However we want to do it. I, it doesn't matter. Um... Because that's going to be our rice conveyor is what it's going to end up being. That's the system that's going to be needed. Um, and then I can also line up a bunch of... Uh, honestly, what I'm going to end up doing is something like this, where I, I don't need all the chopping. Yeah, I need chopping, but you'll understand what I mean here in a second. So we're going to pull this over. We'll pull this on this side over here this over here with this. This is going to be cooking corner over here. So this would be this. We'll put the rice there. Put the sink here. Oh, we don't want that. That we don't want. You can put the tables of this here. That's fine. Rice can go here. Running ring's got to come over still. So we'll throw that down there. This can go here. That can go there. That's going to go there. Here's the fun part. This is what I was excited to do. Because I don't need access to this blueprint desk. I can make it where I have access to it, but there's no reason to. Uh, I think we're going to duplicate the blueprint desk a couple more times. Um, before we do anything else, do we need more counters than we have already? I'll throw, I'll bring an extra counter over. We don't need the garbage can. That we don't need. I will throw this here, protect ourselves from it. Dishes are going to go here. I'll pull a walk from back here. This is going to come over here, like so. All right, so I could throw a walk over here, grab this over here. Grab the water, throw it over here. But I can even grab the broccoli from over here, which is nice. So we'll grab the broccoli, throw it down, and then we'll bring the walk over. There we go. That's what we'll do. Um, and then we have access to this stuff back here. So we actually can put the sink over one. Yes, I like this better. I 
Yeah, this is good. I don't think we need the trash can, but I'll go grab it just to be safe. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Um, and then this goes here and we're good to go. Um, I really don't want that there. I want it there. There we go. So we're good to go. There's our messes. There's all of our fun stuff. Uh, we've done a reconvening. Um, as I said, the value in this is I don't have to do as much and I could set up all my research to prep and all the stuff I need to store over there. Uh, we're eventually going to end up on this side anyhow. So when we start prepping all this stuff, it's just going to start prepping in the manner in which we do it. We can serve onto the side to three tables. We need metal tables. We know that we're going to have one space here. Um, and what that looks like, we don't know yet. So we'll we'll figure it out as we continue to move through this, uh, whether it's like I stick a dish up here or something like that, because we do have one slot technically available. We'll figure it out. As I said, we're going to figure it out. I might even slide it forward um, and serve like, like have it all like right here as a big block. Um, even though it's only six wide, I might be able to, I think I could sneak away with it where I do like a grabber off of it or something of that nature. We'll figure it out. Um, I don't know exactly what this is going to look like, but I think I can do it here, if I remember correctly, because it's hob here, hob here. Right, so hob there, so what? Seven, right? So this is six, that's seven. So six would be a hob there, hob there, and hob there. Um, and so I could grab from here and serve from this side. And because seven's here, I can then set up like the dish system like up here vaguely. Um, as I said, it's going to work. It's just going to be really complicated to get it done right. While we have our research system still going, that's the catch, right? We have to keep our research going too. Uh, so we need splitters, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, what are we looking for out of this? Blueprint cabinet, blueprint cabinet, blueprint cabinet is what we're looking for. Three, two, one, let's go.